Right, this is the juice that I've been doing uh, the past few mornings. It's a nice simple one. Normally I like to add some uh, green leafy uh, greens in there, but um, this juicer doesn't really do leafy greens very well at all. So I usually blend them up first, but my blender's broke. But I've got one in the post, so I'll do, I'll do another video with the, the leafy greens another day. But uh, for now, what I've been doing as a substitute is celery, one whole kind of head of celery, four or six carrots, medium size, half a cucumber, um, a nice piece of ginger, which really adds um, a lot of uh, nice flavour to it, but it, you can really overdo it if you put too big of a piece. I wouldn't say that was um, uh, too big. You could add, uh, add, add, have a bigger piece than that, but uh, I'm running out of it today. Um, four medium sized apples, and that's it. So that's is the juicer. So you just turn it on. It's the shoot. And yeah. We've got celery juice. As you can see, I can do it one handed even. It's not particularly hard, is it? Put a carrot in. You know, carrot juice. Cucumber. Put the ginger in, you won't get much juice out of that, but uh, it's worth it, trust me. Yeah, that's all the juice you get. You can smell it. Right, so I'm just going to juice the rest of that and I'll uh, see you in a sec. After a while these uh, juices get full of the uh, the roughage, so you have to take that off. And uh, This is why they're a bit of a pain. And you've got to scoop that out with a plastic spoon or something into the bin. But uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of waste there. Um, and then there's all the juice we've got so far about a pint or so so we've just got the apples left um, you don't peel them, um, core them, anything just just put them in as they are and um, the only reason I cut them up is because the shoot is not big enough to put them in any bigger I have used a juicer before where the uh, the shoot is, is that big that you can just put a whole apple in and zzzz and it's gone um, but that's what we're gonna have to do We're adding apple juice, basically the sweetness. I mean, that's very alkalizing. Uh, obviously, apple isn't it's acidic, but I'm not too worried about it being completely alkalizing. So that's all the juice done there. As you can see, it's kind of a browny orange color. Um, if you'd put like um, half a bag of spinach or some parsley in there or some kale, it would be completely green. Uh, more like that so that's what's not a green juice it's just a vegetable and fruit juice you want to clean these straight away if you just have running water bang clean to all these bits of uh, fruit and vegetable are a pain to clean off if you leave it but it just Straight off, if you just clean it straight away. I'll clean the rest of that in a bit. Oh, I'm adding the spirulina. <laughs> Look at that. This is going to make the green juice green, isn't it? Don't want to go mental. It says on it directions uh, stir one tablespoon or seven grams of powder to 250 ml of cold water or your favourite beverage. So I'll put too much. Um, right, I'd say that was about a tablespoon, perhaps a bit too much. That'll do. Right, so there's the colour. Let's just stir that in. Right, so 
it's stuck to the spoon. Hang on, I'll just stir it in properly. Right, so I've stirred that in, so as you can see, it's now definitely a green juice. Uh, that's just some mad stuff, man. That's a proper hardcore. Um, I've just had a sip of it. It tastes absolutely... Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, that's mad. It's got a, it's got a really... It's, it's just got an, a, <laughs> a unique sort of taste. It's not a horrible taste at all. Um, if you don't like the taste of celery and things like that, um, this doesn't taste like celery. Well, um, I know it looks like a strange sort of uh, witch's potion, but this is what I'm this is what I'm, I'm going to have this morning. Now, in the mornings, I'm sticking to being a, like a raw vegan, so I have that. I'm going to put that in this bottle in a minute. So I have that, and then I have like ten bananas, ten bananas at, while I'm at work, and um, yeah, so ten bananas and some green witch's potion. Oh, I tell you what, it's got a really weird, um, a really weirdly nice taste to it, spirulina. Who'd have known, eh? So some blue-green algae uh, for breakfast. <laughs>